just so happy you guys are all here. Hey guys, welcome back. Today uh, I thought I'd show you how to make fire cider. So to make fire cider, you're going to need a jar. You can use a quart. Um, I like using a half gallon because I make a big batch. You're going to need raw honey, raw apple cider vinegar, a whole head of garlic, um, horseradish, ginger, one lemon, onion, turmeric, get back here you, um, red pepper flakes, cayenne pepper, sage, rosemary, thyme, um, jalapenos, and whole peppercorns. So what is fire cider? Well, fire cider is an infused um, vinegar with all these goodies in it. It's uh, an immune booster. Um, just about all of these, at least most of these, have a lot of antioxidants in them. Good for your immune system, good for your liver. Um, it helps support you when you got a like a cold or the flu or you know what that's been going around um, so it's good for all sorts of things good for boosting your metabolism um, so yeah good for a lot of stuff so let's start making our fire cider first thing you gotta do is just slice and chop all of this goodness I got stuff rolling away on me here. Um, I'll have the the uh, full recipe uh, and all the measurements are on my blog. I'll leave the link down below in case you want to check her out. It's pretty simple to make, straightforward as far as what you got to do. Um, just get a lot of ingredients but they're good ones that's for sure make sure you do not touch your face after chopping these peppers you will regret it <laughs> now this stuff is really rugged not gonna lie wicked potent but uh Boys, I mean, if you got stuffed up sinuses or anything, especially that horseradish in there, that just, I mean, once you take this, take a little bit of it within like a minute. I kid you not. It just makes everything run. <laughs> Get your sinuses cleared out. Good for um, coughs. You know, uh, sometimes when you get a cold and it settles in your chest some, I'm not talking like, you know, pneumonia, or I'm, I'm sure it would help if you had pneumonia, but like, don't just skip going to see a doctor um, if you think you have pneumonia. Please go get checked out. So yeah, on that note, I'm no doctor, I'm just showing you fireside recipe blah 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 use with your own discretion aka don't blame me I'm just trying to show you something that helps Ooh, where's my big knife hang on just a second yeah, we got this bad boy out. Well, maybe. This horseradish is tough. It's just like going everywhere. <laughs> wow. Just smelling that horseradish while I'm cutting it. It's making my nose tingle. Pretty rugged. 
think it's about time to sharpen my knife. Oh yeah, she's getting dull. Tisk tisk. I should know better than that. Oh my goodness, that horseradish. It's crying time again, you're gonna leave me. I can see that far away look in your eyes. I hate cotton onions. Hate it. But they're so good for you. Wow. Just so happy you guys are all here. Oh my goodness. Good stuff right here. Even works while you're getting it ready. You should have saved the onion for last. I will try to get through this without snotting all over the place, I promise. <laughs> Not very uh pleasant. Oh of course I can't touch my face. I've been cutting onions and peppers and who knows what all. Oh my word. Wow. <laughs> That's one rugged onion. Woo. We'll put the lid on that baby. Wow. Hang on. I can't see. Okay. After my brief bout with blindness, I'm back. Alright, garlic. Okay, I got my garlic all peeled, and I'm just kind of gonna roughly chop it. Alright, now I gotta open this jar again. Oh, mercy. Mercy, mercy. Yep, the horseradish smacked me right in the nose as soon as I opened it. Goodness. Alright, get that all in there. Cover it bag up. <laughs> now I gotta peel all this ginger. Ginger is also good too. Um, if you're feeling nauseous, can help uh, help with that. The uh, onion won't be quite so potent after this uh, sits a while. So it's not, not like every time you open your jar of um, fire cider, you're not going to cry. Okay, now I'm going to take the rosemary, the thyme, and the sage. And I'm just going to roughly chop that. With my dull knife. Oh, aren't those all aromatic? Ta da 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 Soft music in the slow days Do do Alright, now I'm gonna take the peppercorns and I'm just gonna kinda run my knife over them, crack them, crush them. Just get them mostly um, all cracked open so they can infuse the vinegar. All right, we got our peppercorns. Now we're gonna add our cayenne. Pepper flakes. All right, I'm gonna warm up some of this vinegar um, in a little sauce pot until it's just warm. You don't want it hot at all because you'll kill the enzymes in the vinegar and in the honey. We just want it just warm enough to dissolve our honey in. So let me go do that real quick. Be right back. Alright. Got a warm vinegar. Now we're going to add our honey. And 
and we're gonna stir it till it's just dissolved. Nothing fancy. I love this spoon, by the way. This is uh, <clears throat> this wooden spoon was made by a man here in Maine. Shoot, I forget what his name is, but um, he has an Etsy shop, and I'll leave it down in the description. Um, this is made out of cherry wood, and uh, he makes all different kinds. I have uh, wooden utensils. He does a nice job. They're beautiful. He's got his initials. Still don't remember what his name is, but um, yeah, he does nice work. Try to I try to support local when I can. So, all right, looks like that's pretty well dissolved. So, I'm gonna add that to our jar. Gonna put our cover on there. Make sure it's on good and tight. Don't need no mishaps. Then just shake the daylights out of it. Just want to get that all incorporated. All right, we got our fire cider all made. You're gonna want to label this um, with the day that you made it and the day that it'll be ready. I meant to grab a label and bring it out here and I totally forgot, but, um, so yeah, you're going to want to store it in a cool, dark place. I just throw up my kitchen cupboard, whatever. Try to shake it up once a day if you can think of it. About once a day, just give it a good shake. Uh, two to four weeks should be all ready. So in two to four weeks, just strain it through, you know, just a small strainer, um, or cheesecloth, whatever you want to strain it through into a clean jar or a container. I would recommend um, swapping this out for those plastic storage lids if you got them, those screw on plastic caps because as you use it, um, if you keep it in a mason jar anyways and you're pouring out of it all the time, it's gonna cause the ring to rust, so the acid in the cider. So to take fire cider, you're going to want to take like one to two tablespoons. Some people take just one tablespoon a day just to boost their immunity and their metabolism and just stay on the sunny side of things. Um, if you're feeling ill, you can take one to two tablespoons two to three times a day. You can take it straight. She's wicked rugged. Um, I've taken it straight. I'll do it either, either way. I'll take it straight or... Um, you can also warm up some water, like for, as if you're having a cup of tea, but don't boil it. You want it just warm, because remember, we don't want to kill all those lovely goodies that we just spent all that time blatting about putting it in the jar. So make sure it's just warm, um, and then put your one to two tablespoons in your warm water, stir in a little more honey if you like, and you can have it that way. Even like if you're outside... Like if you get, if you're outside for a while in the cold and you just, you get chilled right through you, um, this will warm you up right from the inside out. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of makes you sweat actually. Just a couple, couple uh, tablespoons of this will definitely warm you right up. You can keep it right in your cupboard. You don't gotta refrigerate it. You can keep it right in your cupboard after you've strained it. Um, it'll keep for up to a year, maybe a little more. So there you are, fire cider. Good for all kinds of things. Do your own research. Check it out. It's pretty awesome. For the full recipe, check the uh, link below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope this is uh, helpful. And I hope you stay healthy. And we'll catch you on the next one.